OpenAI just beat OpenAI. No, this is not a clickbait title. OpenAI just built an agent that's better than OpenAI's own engineers. And not just at writing code, also at deploying code, at testing it, fixing bugs, pushing to product. This is no joke. This is O4 Mini and it just broke the DevOps loop. Let's get into how OpenAI quietly entered the agentic AI era and is now bulldozing through developer workflows. Let's tell you about the quiet revolution and how O4 Mini went agentic. For years, people have speculated that when will GPT go beyond chat? When will it actually do things? Turns out, it's already happening. OpenAI's O4 Mini is its first serious step into autonomous agents. Not just generating code, but running full DevOps cycles. We are talking setting up repos, editing files, running tests, also debugging errors, and even pushing to GitHub without human intervention. That's not just an assistant, that's almost an engineer. So we went from Codex to CLI. What's new? Here's the kicker. This evolution is not random, not at all. Codex wrote code and then Code Interpreter ran basic scripts. GPT-4 added reasoning and then GPT-4 Turbo added the tools. Enter Codex CLI, a native command line interface that gives these agents superpowers. They can now clone a repo, understand the project structure, modify multiple files. They can also run automated tests and self-correct bugs in real time. Basically, everything that junior DevOps engineers do today and O4 Mini does it better, faster and without asking for the multiple coffee, chai or sota breaks or the water cooler conversations. So has this been able to surpass OpenAI's own engineers? Remember the team that built GPT? They trained it on the world's code, optimized it with RLHF and tuned it with human in the loop evaluations. But now the model that they themselves created is outperforming them. In internal experiments, OpenAI engineers hand reviewed O4 Mini's outputs and admitted it that it caught edge cases even they missed. It fixed bugs that they didn't anticipate and it even optimized deployment flows say more cleanly than some human workflows as well. This is not just RLHF. This is recursive self-improvement in action in real time. So is it safe to say that DevOps is now dead and it's time to say long live agent ops? Let's give you some impact. DevOps today is a bottleneck. Multiple handoffs, CI or CD pipeline fatigue. There's also testing delays, human burnout. But now with O4 Mini plus Codex CLI, devs write prompts, not scripts. The agents build, test, debug and deploy themselves. So the human role is just to maybe oversee and approve. This is quite literally agent ops, not DevOps anymore. And that's why we say that AI is orchestrating builds, it's monitoring performances and triggering rollbacks before incidents even happen. We are heading into a world where 10x engineers get replaced by 100x agents. So what could this mean for enterprises? If you are a CTO, maybe it's time to listen up. You no longer need, say, a 10-person DevOps team just to maintain velocity. Now with Codex CLI agents, one engineer can do the work of five. Pipelines become conversations and rollbacks happen automatically. Deployment errors reduce drastically, dramatically. And that's why companies are already testing O4 Mini agents, say in internal tools, in CI CD pipelines, in incident responses. This is not a GitHub Copilot competitor. It's a GitHub engineer in itself. And that's why we can say that the agentic era is here in full throttle. OpenAI didn't just build, say, another model with O3 and O4 Mini. They kicked off the agentic AI era, where AI will be able to write its own instructions. It'll be able to fix its own bugs. It'll learn from its own mistakes and surpass the very humans who built it. And that's why O4 Mini isn't killing DevOps. It's evolving it into something autonomous, something scalable and shockingly effective. The only question is, will you be able to adopt it? Or will the next engineer just be synthetic? Tell us in the comments below what you think about this video. Make them long. We want to discuss. Because the future of work is not going to be, say, humans versus machines. It's going to be humans who prompt better machines. Share this video with a fellow tech and AI enthusiast, maybe a fellow developer. And for more real-time insights from the entire world of AI and tech, subscribe to AIM TV. We bring it before anybody does. Think AI, think AIM.